All right, we're back. We're talking about when to sell. Uh, this is going to be probably the last video. Uh, we finally are making the, the last video. In hopefully all this information uh, is going to be useful for you to become a better trader, a better investor. So uh, don't forget to subscribe and put your comments and like it if you actually learn uh, something, you know, if this video was useful. So I'm glad you made it all the way to the 12th, I think this is the 12th one, yeah, 12th video, it's going to be the last one. So we want to talk about when, how to use the Fibonacci to try to achieve uh, our targets. Okay, this is the Bank of America uh, under the Fibonacci. You have your 61.8, 50%, 38% retracement. If you wouldn't know, you wouldn't make money on these ones. Okay, so um, Fibonacci targets. The common target for selling for higher, let me tell you one more time, for higher profits in the big market like Nasdaq, NYSE, Amex, not penny stocks because penny stocks are very volatile. Uh, are the Fibonacci extensions and for buying and dips are the Fibonacci retracement okay here we have UVE it's an insurance company I was watching this company so the higher high is right here 859 okay 859 and eventually it broke and you know this is resistance we already talked about it and the price the price close higher right here okay you know resistance becomes support okay so um, ideally is to buy right here uh, before it closes okay why because you know the next day it's gonna open higher uh, you already gonna be profitable profitable from the gap because this is gonna gap up normally that's how it goes okay see if this is like uh, 9 in the morning I don't recommend you to buy it here because you still have few hours of market. Um, this might actually go lower and eventually it's going to close below and you're going to be underwater. So um, there are a few indicators like the volume, your MACD, your momentum, um, all those you should be using to figure it out if this is going to go higher. Okay. If you're a risky investor, that's fine. You can buy it and hopefully it's going to close above, which normally does. But I've seen some patterns that it doesn't close close below, okay. But if if, if right now it's like uh, in New York time, like um, the market the market closes at four, and right now it's like a three fifty and three fifty five. Oh yeah, I'm gonna buy it because I know in five minutes it's not gonna go down for all the volume, all all the positive things that this stock has. Uh, I know it's not gonna go down. It's gonna close above, and that's great, okay. So. Suppose you, you bought a thousand shares, so I don't know how much your position is going to be. Okay, suppose you bought it. The question is, when are you going to sell it? All right, when are you going to be able be able to sell it to profit the most? I think this could be the most important video of the series. When to sell? That's what I said before. The most important thing is when to sell. Learn uh, when to sell. So here we go. The next day, let's. I don't know if it was Monday or Tuesday. I don't know, but let's pretend. Um, we're gonna go. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go forward. Okay. Let's pretend the next day. I wanna show you what really happened to the stock. Okay. That's what it happened. It kept going higher. So you already profitable because you bought right here at the before the closing. Okay. You are already pocketing this much. So the the question is, damn. I wanna sell right here. What if it goes slow? I wanna turn my profits into losses. Um, if you're doing that, you need to watch these videos again, okay? Because if you're turning profit into losses, I mean, that's a stupid, okay? A stupid start forever. Uh, ignorance can be fixed, okay? So, um, how long are you going to keep it? Well, next day, actually keep going higher. Wow. What are the rules? Let me tell you one of the rules. If he opens higher, you keep it. Okay, it close here, opens higher. Okay, uh, I know I'm good because there's the pre-market activity is telling me uh, there are buyers out there, so I'm good. It close right here. Okay, the next day open higher. Okay, it keeps opening higher. I'm gonna keep my position. Okay, next day, let's see. It kept opening higher, so you're already pocketing uh, 
good money, good chunk right here, and you don't want to let it go. So some people go to back to their emotions and they sell because they don't know uh, how the price is going to move. But this is, remember, this is a daily chart. During the day, probably this price went up or went down. And some people are just uh, relying on the daily patterns or the intraday daily patterns, I mean, and they sell. I mean, they're still being profitable, but they don't take as much, okay? I want you to, to be able to take as much as you can. So the next day, you open higher, but look at this. The price went down and recover, went all the way up and closed right there. See, I, I, a lot of people, because the price was going high, it was piercing, this closing, were selling, okay? But actually, because of the uptrend, this, this actually was waited for many investors to come and jump into the wagon one more time because they know it, this has to have a correction and this was the correction, okay? This was the correction for the price to go higher. So the next day, it kept opening higher. So you keep it. As long as it opens higher, you keep it. That's one of the rules, okay? See, the next day, the next day opens higher, but actually went down another correction for more buyers to come in. See, if you would have sell it here or short sell it here, you would have short sell it here, you would be underwater already, okay? You would have been squished already. So here it went down, but a lot of buyers came and pushed the stock higher even because it was a good opportunity for because the stock was moving, the, uh, the momentum was there, okay? So the next day open lower, there you go, that's your signal to sell, okay? If it opens lower, that's your signal to sell. But it doesn't mean it's, it's over, okay? Not because it opens lower, I you want to sell and start short selling, you might short sell probably for the day or or, or the next day for two days, but that's it. You don't want to short sell and, and pretend that this, this stock is going to go all the way here. Don't think like that because it's not going to go. This is actually a good opportunity for more buyers to jump in until the MACD, um, the sl slow MACD turns uh, over the, the fastest MACD. Okay? And the MACD signal, the momentum goes slower, then is when you want to sell it. See, this is the whole pattern. That's how it went. You see, you sh short sell it for a day and you're out. You just pocket the the, the real daily momentum. Uh, actually, the, the price went all the way here. But the question is, how do I supposed to know uh, when to sell, right? If I'm a daily or swing trader. Well, I'm what I'm going to use Fibonacci extensions. A59 is my breakout. I'm going to multiply that for the ex Fibonacci extension of 27.2%. Okay, it's ten dollars ninety three. So is that thirty eight point two, which is a Fibonacci ratio. Remember the sixty one point eighty, the fifty, the difference, thirty eight point two and seventy eight point some people use seventy six point eight, seventy two point eight, so it's okay. And the hundred percent. So it's gonna give you these numbers right here. And these numbers are gonna be the guideline for you to to see when are you gonna sell. See the price kept going higher and here it went down, but it went down wet where? to the 11.87 so people waiting for this retracement around 11.87 which is a 38.2 extension are ready to buy that's what it came down the next day the same and kept going higher the next day the same it closed right here it went down lower here but it closed right here so it's it's holding this extension right here okay and eventually broke higher to the other extensions. See, if you use these Fibonacci extensions, are gonna guide you through. It's gonna be like a steps, like a levels. If the price goes down, it's gonna go down to the next level. It goes up, goes up to the next level resistance. Okay. The day here went to the 1483 actually. Okay, which is a, I think a 1483, but the Fibonacci extension is 1484. Just it misses for one cent. H how do you like that? Huh? One cent. So it came down. And probably here is when the MACD start turning negative. The momentum start going lower. This is when you when you watch for the short selling from here to here, as we saw before. Here you have the uh, uptrend, the the bullish, the uh, bullish, and, and your momentum, your MACD is pointing negative right here. And that's when you need to pay attention to short sell it. 
okay, around here, around this area, and buy it right here because it uh, usually never touches down to the to the resistance. It goes to the extension. All right, that's how you you need to use it. One more time, the Fibonacci targets. Okay, you got your your breakout at 303 times 27.2 extension. Ino, Ino, goes right there. Time to sell. If it goes lower, piercing, you're out. Okay. Your next one was the 418. It didn't get it, so you're out. But it, it, you got 27% of your money. How do you like that? It just one or two days, 27% of your money. The bank doesn't even pay you 1% in a year, and you're already making 27% in a day or two days. Isn't that great? All right. So you got here the same thing, okay? Fannie Mae, which is a penny stock, with tracing the OTCBB, lower high, 350 times Fibonacci extension 445, 488 and you keep uh, using these uh, levels as a support and resistance okay that's one of the ways to do it all right finally I'm going to give you basic ideas about the stock market the trend is your friend be greedy when others are fearful trade with confidence and put aside your emotions <coughs> okay know where you will get out of a trade before you get into a trade. Stock market is not about making money, it's about not losing money. Keep that in your mind. Stock market, in the stock market, luck is for losers, knowledge is for winners. Okay? The stock market can remain irrational longer than you can remain solvent. Stocks that doesn't make you rich is the knowledge about the stock that makes you rich. You want to look a lot of different technical indicators to be sure they all agree in the stock market like at the next direction okay if you simply understand some very basic concepts of the technical analysis and don't try to overthink the reasons why markets are doing what they're doing you can make a fortune all you have to do is to manage your downside downside side risk all right now i'm gonna give you my rules you need to create your own rules do not board down a trade Okay, not because today is, is a bad, there's nothing to do, you're going to trade something. You have to trade something because you haven't trade anything. Just wait for the right trade, okay? Don't chase the stock. It means when the stock already moved higher, don't try to jump in because if you don't do your research, we are probably going to jump too late to the party, okay? Don't set money targets based on positions, okay? Because today you lost uh, $300, you need to make $300. Uh, because the markets uh, owe you something, which is the next one. The stock market doesn't owe you anything, okay? Every time you lose money, don't think you need to recover it because you're forced to recover it to break even. It's not like that. Only invest the amount you're willing to lose. Grid kills, focus on growing your portfolio every day, okay? Don't buy stocks because you read an article or received an email. There's a lot of pumps and dumps out there, okay? Especially in the penny stock. Learn how to capitalize. Take profits when you can. You n will never go broke by taking profits. Trust me on that one. Okay? Trust me on that one. You will never go broke by taking profits. Use a stop loss, whether mental or real, and don't try to save the trading day for accounts below $25,000. The SEC regulates uh, up, to, uh, up to three round trips, means three daily buy and sell in a period of five days. So don't work along the SEC, just respect the SEC, um, just grow your portfolio every day. Be responsible of your own trades and do your own research and track your own trades to keep learning. Every time you do a bad trade, wait two, three, four months to see how the, the price move um, to try to learn from it, okay? Just focus on learning. You, st you probably are still young. Uh, try to focus on learning, not earning. Okay, so um, hopefully you learn a lot here and you can be a better trader, better investor. Uh, if you like this, just, you know, share it, click like it, subscribe, so um, we can keep more people learning and a better world for everybody. Okay, and this is my favorite verse, Proverbs 16, 16, how much better it is to get wisdom than gold to choose understanding rather than silver. Okay, so remember, uh, knowledge is what you need. All right, all right. Thanks for watching. Bye now.